My name is Jane Messina, and I am I am a grandmother to Sabrina. And your birthday? And my birthday is 1923. I'm William Messina, Sabrina's grandfather. Birthday is 1920. What was a typical day at Kennywood Park like in the mid-30s? Yeah, we went with the school children on the public transportation, streetcars, and then you roamed around the park and your parents came a little later with big baskets of food because they and you had a picnic table and you ate there. There was no such thing as the restaurant. I always remember that in Kennywood Park we had a, a big swimming pool and also a big dance floor and the McKeesport uh, prom was always held at, um, at Kennywood. It was a beautiful place for a prom. They had, uh, they had a band, they had a band shell where they would have a special band come on and they, usually the band had some comics with them and it, people would jam it just to go watch the band and the comics and they brought in the finest bands. But you could not enter into dancing if you didn't have a tie. So it got to the point where one guy would wear a tie, he would go in, hand a tie out, the next guy went in, hand a tie out, and we got in. But once, you were, once you were in it, you didn't need the tie. But you needed the tie to get past that gate. They had pony rides. And there was there was the uh, boat, little boat rowboats, and in the middle of it there was acrobats going on aerial acrobats. Right in the middle of the park. <laughs> what were the costs of the other events and entrance into, there was no entrance fee no into entrance the park? No entrance fee. Were there any other costs? No other car. swimming, was there? No, we used to, uh, on picnic day, swimming was oh. free. Everything was paid for by the school, the school district. And it, even, even the cost of getting on a streetcar and riding to the park and riding back home, you had a ticket known as picnic day streetcar tickets, and your parents even could use them. Nice thing about it, the streetcars used to take us right in to the park at a side, and we'd get out and walk right into the park, because a lot of people had heavy baskets of food, and they used to tell, tell the kids, go, go, grab an empty table someplace, and there was so many tables around you could grab one. Do you remember a ride called the Pippin? Oh, yes, that was so. Uh, that was supposed to be the fast one. The bed, that was the fast one. The Pippin, Pippin. and uh, the Racer, and the Jackrabbit? Jackrabbit. Jack That's yeah. the three. No, it was the Jackrabbit. You should come down off the hill and into a tunnel, a long tunnel. <laughs> that was a thrill. There was the buggy and there was the caterpillar, and there was the... The whip. The whip, and there was the boat that um, you went on, uh, I forget the name the, of Noah's it. Ark. Noah's Ark. Pra practically, all that we had are still the... Auto-racing cars. You, you used them. to race around the racetrack with them. 
they supposedly erased them in the car they called the racing. And uh, you thought you were driving, but it you weren't driving. But you <laughs> thought you were, and you thought you were going a hundred miles an hour. And uh, the merry-go-round you had to ride. Oh, it's yeah. the biggest thing I've ever seen in any park, and it was nice. And uh, that was a favorite meeting place for everybody else. We'll meet you all at the at the merry-go-round.